try and get something to pry from the U-joint to pry it and plug the transmission and get it to pop out. It's pretty easy. Yeah, 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 How much more you got? Gotta figure out where the transmission line's oh, coming. Dude, and then we gotta drop the cross member. And then um, pull all the bell housing bolts. <laughs> and then that's it. So we got this cross member. We'll have to jack up the back of the transmission that way it doesn't just sag down. We'll have to sag it a little bit probably to get some of these bolts, but yeah, get all these bell housing bolts out and then should be able to slide it out slowly. And then we'll have to just slowly with the jack in our hands, slowly lower it down and put it in. It's going to be a bit shaky. You're live. I'm live? You're live. Oh shit. My bad. Anyway, so, is the nut spinning on that side? No. No? Yeah, it is. Fuck. <laughs> what do you need? At least I loosened it. All right. So, we've got the cross member out for the transmission. It's all unhooked. Got the shifter cable undone. Got pretty much everything unplugged as far as electrical on this. We've got our transmission lines up there. We still got to unhook. About to unhook this. Um, I think it's an EVAP line or overflow for the transmission. And then um, we've already got that unhooked. And then we just got to go around and finish up getting all these bell housing bolts out. And we can pull this transmission. It looks like somebody didn't. <laughs> Jarrett, you gotta quit letting other people work on your shit, bro. Why not? Half the bolts are already out for us. They're just dangling or not even there? Not even there. Sweet. He said sweet. Makes my life easier. <laughs> Fucking lazy ass people. Right. Well, we're gonna have to figure out on getting some bolts. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, uh, what is that, uh, Ace and... Sanger? Yeah, we'll figure it out, but that's where we're at. Alright, got the transmission out. And got to looking up under here, if I can get up under here. And getting stuck on everything. So... When you look right there and get a flashlight and kind of look down, you can see the seam is where it starts to look wet. And that's what's causing all of this. So we have to put the transmission back in, but... He is possibly wanting to do braided lines, which we'd have to wait for him to get. And the seal for the dipstick is broke. So we've got to replace that. Other than that, got it all cleaned up a little bit with some uh, parts cleaner and that's pretty much where we're at. So we'll have to, if he's going to do the braided lines, we have to swap those out and then get the transmission back into it as well as, um, sorry. But anyway, we got to get this transmission back in here. Um, if we're going to swap out those lines, we got to swap those out. Then we will pull the oil pan and 
put a new gasket on that, clean up all of the motor, and hopefully that will all seal back up like it should, no more leak. Then we will have to fill up the transmission, make sure everything is good with that. And then if he swaps out his torque converter, cause he's running the 3000 stall, which is kind of high, but we will see. All right, got a new boot for it. About to get this thing all turned and put back in and then get the transmission hooked back up, drive shaft hooked back up. And then we got the oil pan gasket. Bitch. Fuck.